Hello everyone on YouTube and welcome to a new 3D art core tutorial. Um, this tutorial is um, uh, made for uh, teaching you how to add your uh, HDRI maps uh, environment uh, setup. Okay, so basically, um, at first I was adding uh, at the description of this video. Uh, uh, link to uh, HDRI map package of files that you can download. Uh, this package is, uh, you know, provided by one user on Deviant Art um, website. Okay, and you can just go over this link and search for the downlink at the right side of your screen. And after you've done so, we will. Uh, come over Maya and learn how to set it up okay so let's first uh, go over file new and the first thing you want to do before you start is go over window setting preferences plugin manager and you want to search for the maya2mr.bundle okay if uh, if those two cubes here is unchecked so make sure you check them this will apply the maya2mr plugin and basically this is the mental ray engine okay so after you've done so click close and then go over render setting which is this icon here okay and switch the render using type to mental ray this will give you new tabs here and you need to check indirect lighting tab okay and up here you will see the environment section the environment section is divided to two uh, different environment setup. One is the image based lighting which is the HDRI map um, environment and the physical sun and sky. Now we are going to learn about the image based lighting and how to apply it to a scene. So what you need to do is pretty much easy. You just click create here and it will load this tab in the attribute editor and you can close this and then click on this icon here image name and navigate to this pack you just downloaded and pick one of those pictures okay so pick one of them and click open this will apply the picture into this uh, sphere here by the way this sphere appears here at the moment you click create on the image based lighting okay uh, the problem with it is that in my case it makes it uh, in this scale now basically it should be uh, in something like more of like this scale okay um, but um, I don't know what affects right now this um, feature to bring it up to this scale so whatever will be the case make sure you uh, just remember to always ask the, the Remember that you have the opportunity to, you know, the, the option to scale it and modify it or adjust it to whatever needs you need, okay? Um, also, press 6 on your keyboard, the number 6, in order to see this picture you just applied. So, we applied this picture and you can see that this environment is pretty much with warm co colors, although there is a, a very bright area on this uh, like the skies and basically what it does it reflects this um, image here into our scene into here basically to whatever will be here inside this um, container of this uh, sphere uh, the picture will be reflected on top of whatever it is here now of course you will need to have objects that uh, have some uh, shader that uh, you know has uh, reflection values so it will basically work now the thing is whenever you apply something into this scene uh, it still it still gets some environment kind of look uh, to the objects that inside it and even if those are metal objects or any other surfaces, um, this environment uh, will affect uh, how things look uh, 
inside here okay so you need to modify your shaders uh, to fit uh, to this setup because this environment is really uh, putting things in other uh, you know um, uh, okay whatever it just um, make things uh, a little bit um, different from uh, other light setup okay uh, because of the high definition uh, picture that apply to it and one more thing I want to say about it which uh, it's really important for you to know uh, the picture you apply to it doesn't have to be with this HDR extension you can find any picture on the web or any uh, of your own picture that are HDR and use them as uh, pictures also um, there are HDR uh, pictures that they are basically uh, been created through uh, applications like um, there is a uh, application that named as HDR Studio and you can basically take your own pictures that you shot with your camera and then combining them all into one uh, piece like some panoramic uh, uh, environment picture and this way you control your own HDR uh, environment and uh, you can fit it to be uh, exactly as it should for this particular scene you modeled or working with okay um, so that's pretty much it I think it should be straightforward nothing more to it uh, I can't explain too much without you know starting to talk shit <laughs> uh, I don't wanna confuse you I think that if this is important the the, the knowledge about this uh, so basically just go and search on Wikipedia whatever you want about this subject basically I just wanted to show you how you apply this how you can uh, just use it on your own scenes and that's it so have a nice day and don't forget to subscribe, like, if you have any questions, leave them on the comment section and one more thing, uh, one more last thing, there are two different kind of HDR files, some of them looks like Chrome spheres, okay, and this is the same thing that I just added to the description, so you will download HDR IMAP spheres kind of <coughs> chrome spheres uh, photos and there are basically those like the uh, like the HDR studio uh, files I talked about and there are the third um, the third ones which are basically just simple HDR pictures um, so each one of them will do a different, uh, a different, uh, you know, it will give you different result for uh, what you're doing. So you need to be very picky when you pick these uh, pictures. Whenever, whatever you are going to render should be uh, <clears throat> in some wa some way, uh, you know, fit the scene you are going to render. And just one more thing. Um, areas in the picture that contain bright areas like this those are the areas that are uh, important for you to add more highlights for your uh, objects means whenever you want to bring uh, out more highlights you need to con to have some of the picture uh, containing bright areas in order to reflect those uh, bright areas on to your reflected objects okay with uh, shader reflection whatever okay so that's pretty much it and that's all and I hope you enjoy and see you at the next tutorial and bye